Hello students. Um, so before we get started today, uh, this video is for both the seventh and eighth graders, but um, I'm doing a quick shout out to the seventh graders because um, I know a lot of you have been working through your essays recently, and that's been a long process for a lot of you, um, having to do things over and over again until you get it right. But the essays that I have gotten, the final versions and even the rough drafts, are the best essays that we have yet had. Okay, multiple paragraphs, strong introductions and conclusions that match. Um, you're supporting your points with logic and reasoning, and you're making argumentative essays, so you're staying on prompt. So I know this process is a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult, but the end products are the best that we've had all year. Okay, so this is working really well. Um, I know it might not feel that way, but the students who have completed it properly um, have gotten the best work done that they have all year. So um, keep with it. I know it's a little bit delayed. I know that it, it's taking longer than maybe you want it to, but stick with it. Keep going. And once we get this system down, it's going to be so much better for the rest of the year. Okay. So eighth graders, if you just heard that, you now know what to look forward to. Maybe a little bit of trial and error, but uh, the final result hopefully will be worth it. Okay. Now on to today's uh, lesson. Um, both of you have, um, you know, 7th and 8th graders are kind of in the middle of, of your own thing right now. Um, there's not a lot of crossover be between your work, or at least until the 8th graders get to your um, your argumentative writing. And we were supposed to have like a relaxation day and whatnot, but um, I unfortunately could not be there. Um, I, I was home sick that day, so unfortunately I was not able to, uh, you know, lead any of those activities in class. But seeing as it's a Friday and seeing as it's the end of our first week, um, you know, officially back home, or at least me as a teacher, I know you guys, nothing's changed for you, but your classmates, you know, in uh, JTL and Lehman are home now for a little while. So um, I, uh, in school, kind of got a little bit complacent with my, um, you know, work from home attitude, right? You know, I was online, um, wasn't really taking care of, you know, my, my day to day routine. Um, I wasn't, you know, taking enough time to walk and move around. Um, and now that I'm home, it's definitely worse. Like, I'm definitely sitting in one spot a lot longer. Um, so I, uh, you know, went back to my own video and I watched the advice and I was like, yeah, okay, I do this, this, and this. Now, unfortunately, I do have to work in the same place that I play, right? I, I only have one computer set up. Um, I have to work here. And I know a lot of you, it's the same thing, right? You're probably working in the same place that you relax and watch videos and chill out. Um... And that's fine. But just remember to, you know, dress nice, dress snazzy, get yourself cleaned up, take a shower, right? I would say shave, but you're not there yet, boys. Just, you know, hang in. Another couple of years, you'll get it. I promise. Um, but one thing that you can do is, you know, to kind of like wake yourself up and, and, and you know, kind of stretch yourself out is um, what I like to call the airplane workout. Um, and basically an airplane workout is a series of stretches or physical motions that you can do even while sitting on a cramped airplane. Now, I, I, I've done a lot of travel, so I've memorized a few of these, um, but I did find a really nice graphic online to help us out, and it um, shows off a couple of the activities really well. So for today, we're actually gonna go through that together, okay? Um, and we're gonna do it in class, but um, I'm gonna show you right now on this video. Okay, so this is the airplane workout. Um, I do have to take off my headphones for this, so I won't be able to hear my own feedback, so hopefully this doesn't uh, mess it up too much, but um, here we go. First, we start with the neck because your neck is one of the things that's going to get a little out of out of sorts first, right? Um, you're sitting there staring at the screen, you have your neck locked in one position, okay? So um, underneath each of these activities, you can see how many times you should do this thing, okay? Um, so the first thing is side to side head turns, okay? So we do four of these. This is one, two three, and four. Now, a lot of people do these wrong. A lot of people take this head turn and they go like this and they go up. Don't do that, okay? Just straight across. You should be trying to touch your chin to your shoulder. And whenever you do, do not use your hands, okay? Your body should never move more than your own muscles can move it, okay? Um, don't do this. Don't grab your shoulder and, or, or your head and push to the side. Okay, that you can hurt yourself that way. Okay, just straight up and all the way until you feel a little bit of strain in the back. Okay, it should feel like it's pulling a little bit. 
Now, neck stretch. Now you'll notice there's only two of these, and that's because moving your neck up like this, right, several times, um, you can pinch stuff in the back here that can be kind of uncomfortable. So you don't want to do too much of this, just gently stretch up and take your chin and just push, right, That do that twice. That one, you're not going to feel much, okay? If you feel like pressure in the back here, just stop, okay? You don't need to do that too far. Next one, side to side head tilts. Now again, people do these ones a little bit weird, right? Uh, just basically try to take your ear and try basically try to touch it to your shoulder. All right, you shouldn't be able to. Whatever, you, don't don't push your shoulder up like this. Just one, two. Ooh, you feel it? Three, four. Depending on how you sit, you might feel one of those sides moves a little bit more. So if you notice when I do this, okay, it's pretty tight. But when I do this, I can go a lot further. All right, so this side clearly is, is a little bit more tight, so maybe do it a, a couple extras on that side. Okay, this one, shoulder rotations. It's kind of hard to tell from this picture what she's doing, but basically she's sitting like this, and she's moving her shoulders in a circle. So she goes up, and then like this, back, down, forward, and up. Okay, so you four of those. So that was one, two, three, and four and that one you're going to start to really feel some movement up in the up in the top of those shoulders you might feel it actually like all the way down here too so that's not bad next one straight back hold for 10 seconds most of us slouch really badly all right so you actually want to just hold your back completely straight okay if you have one of those like gamer chairs right those like you know lumbar support super tall gamer chairs push yourself away from that okay don't don't lean right up against it because it's gonna change the shape of your back. Okay, so do this, and sit perfectly straight, take your hands, hold them in front of you, and then just hold that for 10 seconds. You're not gonna feel any strain, okay? But, uh, or at least not at first, you might start to feel it on your lower back. So just hold it there for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And then very slowly just release that, okay? Next one. Um, 10 seconds, you're going to hold your shoulders straight back. This one, you might actually feel, you know, the the um, spine move a little bit. You might feel a little bit of, like, cracking in there. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's it's a myth that that's bad for you. Some Somebody once upon a time said that it causes arthritis. It doesn't. It's fine. If your back and shoulders and fingers crack, it's supposed to do that. It's just nitrogen releasing throughout the body. It's supposed to do that. That's fine. Okay, so this one, you may need to grab something like the back of a chair, right? I know a lot of you do this when you were when you were in school. Like, you'd grab the desk and you'd, like, push yourself back, right? Basically, you're just going to grab the, the base of your chair or the arms of your chair and push your chest forward and push your shoulders back, okay? And you're going to hold that for 10 seconds. Now, this should feel a little bit of a stretch. You can see it's stretching my shirt out a little bit. All right, so one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and release that one. All right, that one you should feel a little bit more stretching than the straight back hold, right? Now we do the straight back just to get those muscles ready, and then we do the shoulders back so that we can really stretch them out. Okay, now the half twist and hold. All right, so this one again, people kind of do this washing machine thing where they really like throw themselves to the side. Again, you can throw yourself out doing that, right? Um, you just want to gently, right, place your hand on your knee right here, and then your other hand off to the side, right, to the edge of the chair. And then you just want to take your own, your own muscle strength and turn your body. Don't push too hard with your arms, right? You're not, like, trying to, um, like, rip your body in half or anything. You're just trying to get those muscles to stretch, all right? Um, and you should feel that stretching down in here. All right, so you're gonna hold that one, two, three, four, five, and then come back and the same thing. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, now notice that I'm not like, I'm not doing this, right? I'm up, 
Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to be up the whole time. Okay. Um, next set here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do the the feet ones here. You're just gonna have to do those on your own. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna zoom in on my, my old man sweaty feet. Not gonna happen. Okay. So, um, this one overhand stretch. Now, in this shirt, that might be a little bit difficult, but we'll see what we can do. Um, five seconds overhead stretch hold. So you are just taking your fingers like this. All right. Oh, there we go. There's that cracking again. <laughs> And then you are moving them in front of you and up over your head and you're pressing as if you're going to push the ceiling up. Okay. Imagine you're pushing on the ceiling and you're pushing it all the way up. So ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. I didn't stretch it out. Okay. And then the knee raise hold. Now these ones, in my opinion, are actually some of the best ones because your legs aren't getting any use. They're just sitting here being flabby at a chair, right? Um, so this one, uh, 10 seconds knee hold. So you are taking your knees, you're raising them in the air, right? Now you may need to take your hands and support somewhere. All right. Um, be because you, uh, you're going to be knocked off balance a little bit, probably go right to the edge of your chair and then, um, put your feet together and pick your knees up. All right. And just hold them there in the air and you're going to feel a tightness right here, right, right at the top of your leg. All right, you're going to feel a tightness there and that's good. That's what you're supposed to feel, right? You should feel those muscles stretching out. Okay. So you're going to hold that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then put them back down. Okay. So the last four here, like I said, I'm not going to do those, um, because feet, um, but feel free to try these, right? The calf raises are pretty easy. You just put your feet flat on the ground, right? My hand will be my foot. Put your feet flat on the ground like this. And then you just lift your heels like this until just your toes are touching the ground. And you should feel your calves, those muscles down here, right? You should feel those tightening up. All right. So you're going to hold that right and back down four times. So you're going to go one, feel like it tight back down Two, feel like it tight back down three feel like it tight back down and four and then back down same thing with your toe curls right you're just right if, if my hands are my toes right you're just curling them in as much as you can four times so one two three and four and then these side tilts so you're turning your ankles so if, again if these are my feet you're turning your ankles like this, okay? You're like, wait a second, my ankles don't turn like that. And you're right, but your legs do turn like that a little bit, okay? So basically you're just taking the edge of your foot, pushing it onto the, um, uh, pushing it onto the edge of the ground and then put pressing down so that you can feel the pressure on the sides of your feet as well, okay? Um, like where your pinky toe is. Your pinky toe is actually one of the most important toes because it keeps you balanced. If you don't have a pinky toe, it's almost impossible to stand up or run. People need like prosthetic pinky toes. So keeping those muscles activated is a good way to maintain your balance and, and keep yourself, um, you know, awake. So, um, four side tilts, pushing your feet to the side and then we're done. That's it. Now, if I wasn't talking over all of this, okay, you could get this done easily in like 10 minutes. Um, it's not hard to memorize this either because you're just moving from the top all the way down. All right. Moving from the side to side neck side to side shoulders back okay um this i know i know you're kind of moving back up but that actually stretches down here so you actually are moving the muscles down here and then the knees calves and then toes so you move all the way down um and yeah this little airplane workout works great as a work from home um relaxation or wake up technique if you're feeling yourself getting tired or frustrated or whatever step back do the airplane workout and see if it helps you. Okay. Um, that's about it for today. Okay. Um, like I said, if you are watching this video before your lesson today, then this is all we'll be doing in class. So if you want, uh, some, some friends to do this with, then please come and do that or just do it yourself. Okay. Um, happy Friday and I hope to see you soon.